The Book of Proverbs, Chapter 17 Better is a dry morsel and rest with it than a house full of the sacrifices of strife. A wise servant rules over a son causing shame, and he apportions an inheritance in the midst of brothers. A refining pot is for silver and a furnace for gold, and the trier of hearts is Yahweh. An evildoer is attentive to lips of vanity. Falsehood is giving ear to mischievous tongue. Whoever is mocking at the poor has reproached his maker. Whoever is rejoicing at calamity is not acquitted. Sons, sons are the crown of old men, and the glory of sons are their fathers. A lip of excellence is not fitting for a fool, much less a lip of falsehood for a noble. A stone of grace is the bribe in the eyes of its possessor. Wherever it turns, it prospers. Whoever is covering transgression is seeking love, and whoever is repeating a matter is separating a familiar friend. Rebuke comes down on the intelligent more than one hundred stripes on a fool. An evil man seeks only rebellion, and a fierce messenger is sent against him. The meeting of a bereaved bear by a man, and not a fool in his folly. Whoever is returning evil for good, evil does not move from his house. The beginning of contention is a letting out of waters, and leave the strife before it is meddled with. Whoever is justifying the wicked and condemning the righteous, even both of these are an abomination to Yahweh. Why is this? A price in the hand of a fool to buy wisdom and a heart. There is none. The friend is loving at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. A man lacking heart is striking hands. He becomes a guarantor before his friend. Whoever is loving transgression is loving debate. Whoever is making his entrance high is seeking destruction. The perverse of heart does not find good and the one turned in his tongue falls into evil. Whoever is begetting a fool has affliction for it. Indeed, the father of a fool does not rejoice. A rejoicing heart does good to the body, and a struck spirit dries the bone. The wicked takes a bribe from the bosom to turn aside the paths of judgment. The face of the intelligent is to wisdom, and the eyes of a fool at the end of the earth. A foolish son is a provocation to his father, and bitterness to her bearing him. Also, it is not good to find the righteous, to strike nobles for uprightness. One acquainted with knowledge is sparing his words, and the cool of temper is a man of understanding. Even a fool keeping silence is reckoned wise. He who is shutting his lips seems intelligent.